I'm Lisa Jones at Two Works For You. Here are today's top stories. Tulsa police have identified the victims of two different homicides that happened on the same day. It's an update to breaking news that we brought you yesterday. Officers say Deshaun Talent drove his vehicle into the side of a grocery store near 31st and Garnett after he was shot in the chest. Talent was taken to the hospital where he later died. Detectives believe the victim was shot somewhere else and then drove to the area near the store. No arrests have been made. Meanwhile, Tulsa police identify Gregory Collins as the victim of a deadly shooting at a mobile home park near 51st and Elwood yesterday morning. Police arrested Anthony Hahasi following a crosstown chase. Mahasi is being held without bond at the Tulsa County Jail. State lawmakers are considering legislation banning cities and towns from imposing fees on plastic and paper bags. However, Norman city leaders say it would interfere in efforts to protect the environment. Officials there are proposing a five cent fee. Eleven other states, including neighboring Texas, don't allow local bans or fees on bags. And let's get a check of today's forecast with meteorologist Andy Wallace. Well, Lisa, tracking severe thunderstorms across southeastern Oklahoma this evening. By 10, they're into the Arklatex. They're along a cold front, which will continue to push to the east and push away from us. So on Monday, behind it, it's cooler. We've got some clouds wrapping around the backside of it. So instead of being close to 70, we're closer to 60 degrees for Monday. But the good news, that cool air pushes away as we go into Tuesday. High pressure moving through the Great Lakes, so warmer air will return to the area. And I think as we go into uh, Wednesday, you're going to notice really big improvement. In fact, let me just show you. 10-day forecast looks this way. 60 for tomorrow, 65 for Tuesday, 72 windy and warm for Wednesday. In fact, that windy weather continues into Thursday and Friday. Storm system moves out, though, so that's a chance for showers and thunderstorms. And then what we don't want to talk about is much cooler weather for next weekend. In fact, some of those highs on there, 52 and 49 for next weekend. Lisa, I may have been a little generous. Looks pretty chilly about a week from now. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Andy. And that was our digital news update. Keep checking back for updates throughout the day. I'm Lisa Jones. Two works for you.